Well, my name's Rocky Saunders. I'm a special assistant to Paul Jacks, deputy director of uh, OES, uh, Disaster Assistance Division. Uh, members of the Disaster Assistance Division were dispatched to Thule Lake on April 30th to take a look at the uh, situation up here as far as the drought conditions and also the uh, difficulty with the uh, water coming out of the Klamath Basin. We had an economic disaster on our hands. Uh, there was a great deal of dust, topsoil moving about to the fact there was no water uh, to uh, keep the topsoil um, on the ground. And we found uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of panic in the community. Our community has been in decline for quite a while, really, um, with the agricultural situation, and um, we've had drought for the last couple of years. It's been um, very bad this year, and so we've, we've seen the effects slowly over time. This year um, is, a, is a real extreme, and with the drought being much more severe and then the um, Bureau of Le Reclamation not allowing the irrigation water to flow. And so then on May 4th, the governor declared our area disaster zone. We talked to farm leaders, we talked to community leaders, school district uh, superintendents, principals, and um, made the assessment that uh, something had to be done. Uh, for the next three weeks, we planned the uh, recovery process, which uh, took on two, two aspects. First of all, which is the uh, local assistance center, as we see here. Um, the local assistance center was uh, staffed locally, uh, funded by uh, uh, NDAA state funds, um, and uh, we're in partnership with local uh, service delivery uh, uh, folks as well as county and uh, state, uh, uh, state programs. All kinds of stuff is happening inside the building. We have um, many, many different kinds of agencies and organizations and services represented. Uh, we have uh, people from the health department, the mental health departments, behavioral health, um, employment development department, um, the state agriculture uh, services, the USDA, um, social services. Um, there's just a variety of things. This is a one-stop shop so that uh, we have information and services available uh, on just about any kind of uh, program people would need. But yesterday was our opening and we had 75 people sign in to, you know, for assistance and I know we missed some people and we had like whole families coming so what we'd have to do is some one person sign in for the whole family and um, I was amazed, you know, I really expected some people coming for assistance but I thought it would be a slower process. So I think that goes kind of underscores that yeah, this really is serious. And what we found yesterday is that while some people are still working, a lot of people have had their hours cut or they know they're going to be no longer working within the next few weeks. And um, so it is, it's certainly affecting our community on a very broad scale. Farming is the only industry here in, in Tule Lake. Our goal, first of all, is to salvage the topsoil here in the Tule Lake Basin. It's valuable, rich topsoil, probably the richest uh, uh, topsoil in, in all of California is here in Thule Lake and without water it's just going to blow away. Second goal is to uh, salvage what we can from this uh, agricultural season. There are crops that have been planted but without water they'll die uh, and without the crops this community will die. So our, our goal is to get the water on the ground as fast as possible. With regards to the well, regards to agriculture, we put together a well drilling program, again in partnership uh, with the uh, California Department of Water Resources and uh, local experts here in the Tule Lake area. We put together again a, a working group that uh, uh, worked um, around the clock uh, to uh, prepare um, sites, to select sites, to clear them uh, with environmental clearances as well as. Uh, historical and archaeological clearances. So we have now uh, 12 selected sites for um, well drilling in the Thule, Thule Lake Basin, which will um, create uh, a serviceable amount of water uh, for the area. And that will take approximately uh, five to six weeks to complete all 12 wells.
The, uh, the payment uh, for the cost of the recovery is uh, under the auspices of the Natural uh, Disaster Assistance Act, which is a state uh, NDAA law. Uh, the state is uh, funding 100% of the recovery costs at this point. Uh, there is an option for a 25% uh, local match with the, uh, with the counties, but uh, both Siskiyou and Modoc counties are, are uh, financially strapped at this point. The governor has decided uh, to waive that 25% match, and so now it's going to be 100% uh, state financed recovery program. The uh, local assistance center here uh, in Tule Lake will be open to uh, up to one year. We find that the economically, uh, the economic uh, disasters take a long time to recover, and and if it's an agricultural economic disaster, it takes an entire year and for the season to recover. A year, um, at least, because it's going to take that long. We know that uh, it's really uh, cyclical how it th things are going to happen. And uh, for instance, there are some potato sheds that are going to be able to work until September because they have potatoes from last year. But in September, the, that's it. There are no more potatoes. Then there's other um, businesses, associated businesses, uh, the grocery store, the local um, restaurants, the auto parts place, the you know mechanics, and they're they're all feeling it. Um, they're already feeling it, and it's going to get worse as time goes on.